Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Ontario, Canada. We're bringing a, another video to you. This is on a 2023 uh, model year for a Taylor Coach. It's a 17 foot rear door. Um, got some kind of unique features in it. We haven't built one like this probably in about 17 years. Um, this particular layout, it's mostly done in a single axle in the 16s. But this is a tandem axle. It's uh, seven feet wide. So it gives you a lot more aisle space on the inside or openness on the inside, even though the uh, body itself is only a 14 foot. You can see it's got a power awning on it versus the old manual awnings because the manual awnings have become obsolete. They, they are not building them anymore. It's just an aftermarket item. So all the new coaches today have box awnings or power awnings. Uh, so I've got lots of our great features where we have the four jacks all the way around for leveling. They did add a rear awning to it on the back here. So they got a projection over the door. So if they wanted to have a, a, a piece over the door, it will come out locked and it sits out giving you a projection over the door. The arms are all built right in here. We're holding it and then you can adjust it for height. But this is an option on it for people that want it and people that don't want it. Um, and it does have your porch light on the side. It has an awning light on the other side. So <clears throat> I tell lots of couples, being it's a rear door, you've got the whole awning to live underneath. You're not blocking a door. When you go, when you're out, you can leave this light off. You're not swatting bugs, trying to keep the bugs outside because your light on the side of the coach is keeping the bugs over there, especially during the early spring when you're out camping. Um, let's take you on the inside and I'll show you some of the features on the inside. So on the inside here, they have the uh, large fridge here, which is your 6.6 in a Dometic. It is a gas electric. So if you wanna be off the grid, they ask for the shoe cubby here. So when you come in, you can kick your shoes underneath to keep them away from the doorway here. So it keeps it nice and clear. Um, they have a nice size little closet here on this particular side with a couple of shelves and that down on the floor. It has our little dinette that we've always done, which will make into a little single bed. It's for the two of them for sitting um, with lots of visibility underneath the awning, lots of overhead cupboard space. And like I mentioned outside there, this is 84 inches wide. So it gives you lots of aisle space here in the trailer, even though it's still a very small trailer um, when you look at the trailers that are out there. Uh, they have loaded it up with a number of goodies from the standpoint, it's got your power awning. It does have your TV antenna. Um, it's got your GoPower uh, solar system on board and they do have their uh, uh, stereo, uh, CD, DVD, all that. So when you're playing movies, it's gonna play movies all down through the TV. And it's almost like being at the movie theater. You have all the surround sound uh, coming from it. So it's, it's uh, on those rainy days or the bugs are really bad outside. And it's like, hey, you know, I don't wanna be sitting outside feeding the bugs or it's kind of rainy, drizzly and damp. It's always nice sometimes to come in for the ones that put TVs on board and, uh, that you can watch a movie. The time when you don't have time at home to catch the movie, you have more time when you're in your R&R world relaxing and, and uh, regenerating your batteries. This is a Jensen 12 volt LED TV as well. And at the front here, what they've done is this is, a, is your uh, couch or gaucho that pulls out so this is a queen bed. So this is going to be 60 inches by uh, 80, 81. So if somebody said, hey, Brad, could I take the uh, mattress off this and just put a regular house mattress and leave it out? You do have that option. A regular queen mattress will fit in the trailer perfect. Um, and we do also offer it when we build them if people just wanted a permanent bed here. The thing that's a little nice about this gaucho is when you pull it out, I mentioned to all my customers, underneath here becomes where you can store all laundry baskets and that. So if you have dirty clothes, when the bed's pulled out, you can stick all your baskets underneath. 
And when you're looking for, when you're changing your clothes from day to day, and you want to have a place for your dirty clothes, it's always nice and handy. When you get to the laundry mat, or you stop, you're on the road and you're traveling, you can pull out the basket, wash your clothes at the laundry mat, come back, put them back away, so it keeps it handy. And I think some couples will notice too, being it's a little wider, it gives you more room getting in out of the bed as well. This is our overhead bunk that we always offer. And a lot of our coaches, when there's the room for it to fit, and it's also just a storage cabinet from there. Um, they got the reading lights up here. It's got a nice size counter with storage up above. They did ask to put a, an oven into it. So they have a, a 21 inch oven with a three burner cooktop. Uh, you got your drawers up here, spot for a garbage below it. And you got lots of storage underneath here as well. And you have a fair bit of prep space on the counter here for being able to prep your food because you also have the table to work with as well. Um, another feature they added to the trailer here is they asked for a pantry. It's pretty popular with a lot of our coaches where they can have all their food or if they're not using all this space for food, it also then becomes a place where you can put, uh, you know, maybe a couple of shelves. You've got some clothes and some of the other stuff you've got in food because we have so much overhead covered space as, as well. For a bathroom scenario, they did it with just our standard shower toilet combo. It's got a vent in the bathroom um, in it as well. And like I said, you can see in the aisle space in the coach, it's very open. Uh, and saying all that, um, I should mention too, it does have the air conditioning in it too. So this particular couple did put a lot of features into it, trying to, I would refer to as a lot of more creature comforts. Um, when I'm talking to a lot of couples and we're coding on trailers, I always come back to meat and potatoes. It's more of a fridge stove, sink, shower and an awning then from there do i want stereos do i want air conditioning do i want solars because those are luxury items and it does make it a lot nicer in some scenarios for cam and it depends how much time you're spending on the road traveling and you know what your goals are in life what you're trying to achieve um this particular trailer with the features we put on it with a little extra width with all the features it's coming in just over the 2,200 pounds, so it's very towable by a lot of the vehicles that are rated for 3,500. Um, and you've got lots of, lots of comfort inside as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch for more videos to come. Um, again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. If you've got you know, a trailer you're looking for, you've got ideas you wanna run by me, don't hesitate to give me a shot on the phone or send me an email. Um, Good chatting with you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.